Welcome to another episode of the 49ers Rush Roster Countdown, and we're at number 81 out of 90 players, and I have to be honest with you, the minicamp and OTA experience, I think we might have been a little too low on this player. Um, Tanner Hudson, tight end, jersey number 84, we have him ranked 81. Maybe should have been higher. Um, I think I discounted the idea of what it meant for Tanner Hudson to work exclusively last year on the practice squad with Trey Lance. And he just continued to shine, making a lot of the bigger plays of minicamp um, and just huge plays down the middle. One of the favorite targets of Trey Lance. Now, who is Tanner Hudson just kind of on his own? Six foot five, 240 pounds. He's 27 years old. He's entering the fourth season of his NFL career. And, you know, his his playing time and stats and all those things in the NFL have not really been I, I, magical or eye-popping or whatever. But he just keeps hanging around and showing up. And he's got some things that the 49ers don't really have on the roster. He's a Super Bowl champion. He was a part of the Bucks Super Bowl that they won two years ago. And even though he didn't play a very significant role for the team, he did get some meaningful playing time. And just being a part of what it takes, you know, being around Tom Brady, uh, being on a Super Bowl winning team, that changes. It changes the way you operate. It changes the way that you interact with your teammates and all those things. So let, let's go back to where it all started for Tanner Hudson. Um, Camden Central, Tennessee. That was the high school that he went to. And then he went to Southern Arkansas. So you, he's not one of the players that's from, um, you know, came out as, you know, a four-star heralded prospect. This dude has fought and clawed his way to make it into the NFL. And once he got there, he's found a way to stick around, making himself valuable to teams, quality teams at that. Um, now, he was, you go back to his high school, he was an all-district punter in high school, which – Perks my ears up. I love special teams players. Um, so, you know, just one of those options. Uh, he can punt the ball. I doubt he'll ever get I, – I, he's probably not even the third option behind <laughs> Mitch and Robbie Gold. But, again, it just kind of tells you the all-around athlete that this kid is. Um, he was second-team all-conference in 2016 at Southern Ar Arkansas. He was all-conference in 2017 at Southern Arkansas and actually was recruited as a quarterback – to Southern Arkansas. So punter, quarterback, transitioning to tight end with the body that he has, right? I mean, he's a bigger dude, 6'5", 240. A big old dude. Um, and so his career highs at ju um, came as a junior in college, 48 catches, 763 yards, nine touchdowns, and again, won that Super Bowl with Tampa Bay. Now, uh, if we look at some of his measurables, he didn't get a uh, you know combine invite, ran a 4.76, not a blazer, much more of an all-around Old school tight end, um, better blocker than he is a receiver, but just kind of a jack of all trades type of guy. He was an undrafted free agent in 2018, uh, jumped on with the Bucks, played in nine games in their Super Bowl winning year, um, had one start. But again, he's it's interesting to me that he's made several of the biggest plays in minicamp for the 49ers because listen to the stat line. Played in nine games for the Bucks in 2019, one start, five targets. And that's a heavy tight end offense, right? Cameron Brait, they had O.J. Howard, they had Gronk, obviously. Two receptions, 26 yards. Um, and then in 2020, he played in 11 games, zero starts, seven targets. So, again, three catches for 41 yards on seven targets. And then last year, he made it to two games for the 49ers, but just kind of special team snaps. Didn't really, no targets, not any meaningful playing time whatsoever. So, again, you go back through kind of his ins and outs with the NFL. He was signed as an undrafted free agent in 2018. They waived him in 2020. Then they brought him back to the practice squad, the Bucks, in 2020. And then they released him in 2021, and we picked him up um, right after that. So we picked him up in April, right before the draft. We signed him to a reserve practice squad contract Um before the draft last year, 2021. And he's been with us since. Only one career start, 22 games played. Um, you know, again, if you look at his career stats, you compile everything. 12 targets, 5 receptions, 67 yards, 0 touchdowns. Now, 13.4 yards per carry, extremely small sample size for Tanner Hudson. There's no doubt about it. But... 
13 yards per carry for a tight end, especially one that's a 4-6 guy, you'll take that. Can he get more touches? I doubt it in this offense, not without some major injuries or trades taking place. I think the best case scenario for Tanner Hudson is that he wins that fourth tight end spot. I don't think he has an option to win the third. You know, keep him on the practice squad this year, I think, is a very real possibility. Again, I we ranked him 81. Um, and shout out to Anthony and Josh for always helping me with uh, this whole entire series. I want to bump him up to probably about 74, 75. Not too much more. But with what he put on tape and what he did in camp, I mean, you can't find one person that was there not talking about how Trey was looking for Tanner Hudson. Uh, now, We'll have to see if that can translate into the preseason and into uh, you know training camp, but we got to see. Now, again, that's kind of the most likely scenario is, but again, if he can get that fourth spot, not the fifth spot, I think that's best case fourth spot. Most realistic is probably fifth spot where he's a bubble kind of practice squad player. Tyler Croft, him coming in is a direct threat to Tanner Hudson. So, I don't think you keep both of those vet tight ends around. I think you want a young project tight end that you can work with and one vet tight end because we are such a tight end centric offense. So I think that's kind of where he fits. Um, really, really like this kid. And again, it's just more and more testament to what the 49ers continue to build on the back end of their roster. And the fact that you're able to have a kid like Tanner Hudson, who spent a full year with Trey Lance, that cannot be... It's valuable. It's huge. Super Bowl champion. That's valuable. He's been there. He's been around it. So we'll have to see. I think practice squad's where he winds up. But that's number 81 on our 49ers roster countdown. And uh, that leaves us with 80 more to go. We've got 10 down and 80 to go. And I'm so pumped to keep going with this. So uh, thanks again. And we will continue our 49ers roster countdown coming up. 